While the church is important for worship, we must never forget it is only a means. It is not the end itself. The church is a means for us to become the true temple of God. That is why when Jesus came, he was zealous in wanting to rebuild the true temple of God, which is the people of God. It's the people of God that needs to be restored, to be renewed. This is what is critical. Not just the physical temple or the church. This is a very important reminder for us as we prepare ourselves to celebrate Easter. Because Easter is a celebration of Jesus, truly the new temple of God. It is the body of Jesus, of which we are all called to be part of it. We are called to be part of this temple, so that when people look at us, they can see God in us. For this reason, we must be very careful that those of us who spend a lot of emphasis on rituals, on right liturgy, on rubrics, not to say that these are not important. We must never forget that these are means. What is the goal of right worship? It is in order that we will help people to connect with God and that they will live a life of charity and love. It is having the right attitude, the right approach, always bearing in mind the ultimate goal of worship, that we become the living temples of God. The church is a place where people must see the true presence of God. By His death, He showed us what it means to give up ourselves for the love of our brothers and sisters. The worship of God and the love of our fellow men have to go together. You can be going to church, giving donations, celebrating the right liturgy, but if there is no justice in your life, if there is no compassion, then we have forgotten the purpose of all that we are doing to help us to be the true temple of God. We need to restore ourselves. We need to heal ourselves. We need to make ourselves available to God's mercy. Only when we contemplate in the crucified Christ, then we begin to see what is true worship, what is true love. True love at the end of the day is to offer our body as a living sacrifice. It is only when we endeavor to do the will of God, then we can truly say we are the new temple of the Holy Spirit. When we contemplate on His love and we begin to encounter His love, then we can be truly people who will bring mercy and compassion to others. Indeed, my dear brothers and sisters, Pope Francis always reminds us, while it's important that we must first be connected with God, we must go out, reach out to the marginalized, the poor, the suffering, attend to those who are hurt and wounded, because that is what we are called to do. Remember the missionaries 200 years ago when they came to Singapore, they did not just bring the gospel, they brought medicine, education, they gave us land to build our homes, they fed us, and that is why we saw the face of God in them. So too, my dear brothers and sisters, unless we too become that crucified Christ, carrying the burdens of others, the sorrows of others, the pains of others in our hearts, people will not be able to see the love of God and the mercy of God in us.